Good morning again for me and Blaze. Another full day eating, man. I want to give you all a more descriptive one. I'm um, show you guys calories, macros. So let's get into it. <laughs> Second day of taking Green Surge by Jack Factory. I have a bad problem of not getting enough vegetables. I want to do it like without the greens powder, like on a weekly. Um, but until then, until that problem gets fixed, we're going to rock with the greens powder. It's pretty good. It's, I think it's sour green apple. Usually greens powder I've tasted tastes like dog water. Um, we're going to rock this. Rock our usual breakfast, which is two eggs, 230 grams of egg whites. Um, I've been cooling off the oatmeal for a little bit. I don't know why my digestive system is not working with it very well. Um, but we're going to rock with a bagel. Um, and we have Trader Joe's cinnamon raisin bagels. I think they're pretty good, 260 calories. You got the 55 grams of, pro 55 grams of carbs. Um, nine grams of protein. I like to shoot for about 50 grams of carbs per meal. Um, and then the eggs and the egg whites obviously is over 30 grams of protein. Um, and then I think I'm going to put this one on. Yeah. Fit butter, monster cookie. So delicious. Um, I was blessed enough to be, come a part of the team now. Um, so if you want some fit butters, Chef 10 saves you money. Um, I love it. It's 200 calories for two tablespoons, um, 16 grams of fat. So it's, it's basically like regular peanut butter that you see in stores. Um, but it tastes a hundred percent, 110% better. I mean, if you could see that right there, so go get yourself some, they have S'mores, uh, maple banana French toast, monster cookie, they have Oreo, uh, and red velvet cake is coming back. So stay tuned for that. We are all good to go. <clears throat> Fit butter, eggs with egg whites, cup of water, greens powder, and then we have our vitamins right here. Um, calcium, magnesium, zinc, vitamin D3, probiotic, fish oil, and turmeric. Um, I felt that those have all worked for me. Um, helped me feel really good. Um, the probiotic is new to me, so I'm not really sure if it helps me a lot. I've only been on for about four days. So we're gonna keep taking that, see if that helps. Um, Cause I got stomach digestion issues. So I'm trying to work that out with also working out what foods work for me. Um, so yeah, we're gonna eat this up get our pre-workout mix ready, um, and then head to the gym. Smacked. Right here. Dunzo. I'm um, feeling good. I'm going to put the macros and the calories somewhere on the screen. I'm um, going to do that for the next couple meals throughout the day. Let's head to the favorite gym, man. The Dow. Let's go. Had to make a stop at the gas station to get a uh, sun drop diet, sun drop cherry lime, lemon. Just shot a pre-workout mix TikTok. So we got that going with the cherry ring pop I just ran out, which is sad. Um, I'm going to call that like 10, 10, 20 calories right there. Um, and then we got two Rice Krispie treats as well for like pre and then I think one like 30 minutes into the workout. Gonna rock that, and then I'm not gonna eat until I get back home after that, um, which is what I like to do. So I will see y'all after the gym. We're back home, um, but I didn't get to do my post cardio because I had to go to Jiffy Lube to get an inspection really quick. And I want to get that over with. Uh, then I had to get some toiletries. So we're gonna get this cardio done on the bike real quick, and then I will show you guys my post workout meal. Botch the anabolic window, it doesn't really matter. Um, it's only gonna be like 15, 20 minutes. So it should be all right. And then I will show you my post workout mess. Just finished up the cardio. We are doing two scoops of the Jack Factory vanilla oatmeal cookie. This stuff is gas. 
Um, they were nice enough to send me this, and I actually love it. Um, so we got that, but we also put some of it with some cookie crisps. I did two servings. I think it's like around 600, five, 600 calories. I'll put it up here again. Um, 50 grams of protein, and it fills me up, and it tastes really good. Probably eat this, and then I'll eat again in about hour and a half too, so like 3.30 or 4 o'clock. Um, pretty basic meal coming up, but uh, I'll show y'all what I'm cooking up later. It is now 4.16, been doing a little work, um, but I'm hungry. Um, if this video seems a little fast, I'm trying to not make the videos as long, um, or at least this one, just trying different things out. Um, so I'm kind of just going through my meals, and that's really it, because um, it's just a full day of eating. Um, but now I will get my rice um, and ground turkey that I meal prepped yesterday. Yeah. And just throw some chipotle sauce in that and eat that. Um, super easy. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to show you that. So we have our ground turkey rice. Decided to throw some greenies in there for a little bit of color um, for the health. Then we're going to put some chipotle sauce. Um, I'll keep posting the macros and calories uh, somewhere on the screen. And then we'll go from there. So it's about 4.20 right now. Eat this. Eat again another two hours, 6.30. Maybe the same thing. Uh, maybe this egg sandwich that I've been really liking um, that I make. Um, or maybe a snack with like some Greek yogurt. Um, we'll see uh, what my calories and macros are looking like for the day. And go from there. Um, I love this meal. <clears throat> it may seem super boring to people. But to me, it has the protein. It has the carbs. I threw in the veggies there. If you season your food well, um, and you kind of get used to eating for the results, like yes, I eat for the results, but I also do eat for taste at the same time. I just know the results matter more than the taste. Um, I can go what most people say is boring food a, a long time. Like I, make, I can be super consistent with it. Um, that's not the same for everybody and that's okay. You have to find what works for you um, and kind of just see what benefits your body. So this works for me. Um, I can eat this day in and day out without getting tired of it. Um, so that's something keep rocking with. So I'll see y'all at 6.30. All right, now meal related. Actually, I am about to just have these two Starbursts just because I want them. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys what I'm working on merch-wise. Um, I know a lot of people go through making merch and they're like, oh, I want to keep it a secret. No, but I really just want to document this whole journey because I know, like, even, like, a few months from now, I'm gonna be like, damn, like that's where I was, and now looking at me. But even like five years down the road, um, I think big things are gonna happen. So, just look at this, man. Like this something for the back, front idea, um, little mock up here, and then this is an also front too. Spell for a room, that's okay. Um, then I'm gonna have the little R.I.P. on the sleeve cuff. Just super sick stuff going on. Um, samples are on the way. That I'm gonna make, screen print them, go from there, see how they look, um, and then it's just on from there. Like, super excited for this. Um, it's now 5:11, so I'll see you on an hour and a half. Next meal is up, 6:38. Uh, we're gonna rock with this little concoction I make: vanilla oatmeal cookie protein with the Okios Triple Zero Greek yogurt. This is a game changer. Uh, serving size, 170 grams. You get 110 calories with 17 grams of protein. That's money. Um, also with two eggs, a bagel, and this Jimmy Dean's turkey sausage. We'll make a sandwich out of that, and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, we got it all made. Two eggs, sausage, chipotle sauce, with a plain bagel from Trader Joe's. And our protein concoction with the protein powder and Greek yogurt. As always, macros and calories right here. I'm about to go take my sister through a little workout. And then we'll be back probably around 8.39 um, to show you guys another meal. See how many calories, uh, macros we have left. And we're going to go from there. Super simple, super easy. Not really... Camera right out of space. Um, but what I was saying was not making it super complicated for myself. Find things that work for you, like I said earlier. Um, this is not even your typical chicken and rice meal or ground beef and rice meal. Like it's fun, it's literally 
an egg sandwich that you get from like a bagel shop. So tastes good to me. See you at the next meal. Last and final meals. Finally back. Uh, I'm training my sister. It went super well. It's now 9:30. A little late to eat this, but gotta get it in. We have two eggs. 175 grams of egg whites, 170. Another plain bagel, love my bagels. I really was not fond of rice today, and that's okay. You get other ways, source of carbs. That's gonna be one meal. And then after like about an hour after that, I'll eat three of these rice cakes, super light. It's not a whole lot to me. Um, and then that will be my goals for the day. So we finished off with around 3,500 calories, 3,508 to be exact. 307 grams of protein, 393 grams of carbs, and 78 grams of fat. I'll put all that on the screen. That is a W day for me. Um, as long as my fat is under 80, carbs are over 350, and protein, you hit 300. That's that's a W, man. That's a freaking W. Probably be super bloated. That's okay, though. Feeling super full muscle-wise. Um, I think I have back. Be yeah, at back tomorrow. Uh, carbs are also good for recovering from my chest day today, um, my lagging body part. But uh, yeah, that concludes the full day of eating. Um, it doesn't get really much different than that, other than like rice and sweet potatoes or like chicken and ground beef. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please like, share, subscribe, support your boy in any way. Much love as always. Till next time, peace, love, and blessings, man.